<laughs> Howdy y'all. Well, down here by the well, um, up here at the new farm, and there's our well. It's, uh, what'd they end up doing? Uh, they hit water at 181 feet. They went ahead and punched it to 193, I think. 92 or 93. And at 181 feet, and also when they went, you know, 10 feet deeper, 10, 11 feet deeper, with just the uh, forced air off the uh, well drill rig, they were getting uh, 16 and a half gallons a minute. So it was recommended, which we had done, dropped in a 20 gallon a minute water pump. And I tell you what, up there, I've had that thing running just wide open on inch and a quarter line. And I know I've had it wide open for 45 minutes and I couldn't see any water volume change or pressure change for that matter. Even though when you're running it wide open, there is really no pressure. So we got real lucky there. And uh, yeah, you see another one of these tubes down here. What that is, is an inch and quarter stub out that will get fed over there eh, another 7,500 feet, which is where the barn's going to be. Now, the only part, hindsight's 2020. I didn't think of it, but then again, electrical only has to be two feet deep, so that's not that big of a deal. But when I had this trench open down to three foot for frost protection on the water line, I should have dropped in an extra one inch conduit coming back this way. It would have just saved me some digging. I mean, the trench was already open. I could have dropped it in and stubbed it out, but eh, lessons learned. You can't get everything right all the time. But anyway, yeah. That's the well, and oh, by the way, the wife already found a couple of trees on sale. And uh, now that I'm down here looking at them, they've been in the ground for about a week. There's one there, and one there. And you can tell by the bottom here that all the leaves are gone on the bottom. And they didn't blow off. And then if you look, you'll see the sign of what happened to them. So yeah, the wife's going to have to cage these things in. They were supposed to be uh, deer resistant trees, but maybe they are resistant to deer as long as they can't reach up and get the top leaves. I, I don't know, but uh, the deer are liking them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Later.